Oh man, it looks like the baby got himself another headline conversation with this one. Hey, he just dropped himself an album, Baby on Baby 2. If y'all guys haven't heard it, I'm a, I would say for y'all to go check it out. But look, that's not really why I was here to promote his album. I'm here to tell y'all it's some fuckery. Yep, you know what it is, man. The baby always got something up his sleeves. With this one right now, it's looking like it's the talk of the motherfucking afternoon. So if y'all don't know right now, man, he dropped a song on the album called The Boogie Man. And in that song, he was explaining that apparently the night before, the whole situation, allegedly that Tory Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion, allegedly. Just want to make sure y'all understand that, that he was saying that he was fucking her. And even on top of that, he was saying that he was already piping before that. So look, I'm going to let you guys check out, you know, the lyrics and see what, you know, he was saying. The man, he always got something up his sleeves. He says, you play with me, oh, God damn, shut the lights off, boogeyman. Oh, Lord, Jensen made another one. You play with me, that shit was childhood. The day before she said that Tory Lane shot her, I was fucking on Megan Thee Stallion. Waited to say that shit on my next album. Hit it the next day before, too, but I kept it player. I ain't say nothing about it. Had her pretty boy boyfriend tweeting me, ready to die about that bitch, like a coward. <laughs> Listen. This man, this is this is why I like the baby, man, because he's such a strategic ass dude. You know, one thing I could tell you is that I'm pretty sure he already had this all planned out before he even knew he was going to drop an album. He could have said something way before, but he, you know what? He used that as a marketing strategy, and I can't blame the guy because at the end of the day, when it comes to him, everybody got something to say about him. Always got something to say about him. It's always... Something bad. Oh, he said this. He said that. So for him to come out now, letting people know about the situation with the heart of all hot girls, Megan Thee Stallion. Hey, look, he ain't got nothing wrong for doing that. Cause honestly, look, like I said, people always on his case. And look, man, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are tuning in just to hear the song and for him to say it. I'm pretty sure all you guys have already been online and been seeing all this stuff saying what he was saying but you're still gonna go check it out and that is a market strategy way to do it so you know shout out to the baby man because he knows the way to keep himself relevant regardless of what the scenario is he is always the talk you know what i'm saying he might leave for a little bit but when he's back he's back man this man don't shot people people don't run in his house this this dude is this dude is the superman of the hip-hop man now listen and then we got to say City Boys up one, we up one. So, hey, <laughs> y'all go check out his album, man. Shout out to the baby, man. And make sure y'all like, subscribe, and keep yourself updated. Ring that notification bell. Let you, let me know what you guys feel about the scenario, man. What you think? Do you think he was right for saying it on the album, or what should he have kept it quiet? You guys let me know. All right, I'm out of here. Deuces.